Hello world ones, it's 27 degrees, we're going hammock camping. travel hammock bivvy which I've used as a bivvy but I'm going to be using it hopefully as a hammock today I'm going to be using it without a tarp because I want to be sort of immersed in nature um, usually I would bring the tarp with me just in case of rain but my gear is so heavy today because I've got so much water with me because it's so hot and I've also brought my professional cam with me because I want to try and do a sort of night sky time lapse of the stars above the hammock so I didn't bring it with me because it's extra weight that I'm probably not going to need so if it starts raining it'll be game over but I think we'll be okay so what I need to find is a nice quiet secluded place to hang a hammock and I want to be able to also have a nice view of the sky above so not asking for much we'll see how it goes also I'm using my challenges today and I've got some other new bits and bobs that I'll show you new boots thank you Laura Lua for sending me these these are the Renegade GTX I've only just started wearing of course I'll let you know how I get on with them as I sort of wear them in and try them in different conditions but loving them so far they're the poshest boots I've ever worn they've got Vibram soles new buck leather upper and Gore-Tex lining so yeah really love these so far new trekking poles these were actually given to me by a friend, Ash Outdoors UK. Check out his YouTube channel, by the way. He's just walked across the country, coast to coast. Really cool. Um, so these are 158 grams, so half the weight of my previous trekking poles. They're the twist lock design, but they seem really sturdy. So yeah, I'm really liking these. These are great. Love it. The hammock, which of course isn't new, but it'll be the first time I've used it as a hammock, like hanging from a tree. So yay, excited. And I've got a Trangia stove, this little thing here, which I've never used before. So you just fill this up with liquid fuel and put a little sort of pot holder thing that goes on top like that. And then you put your pot on. I've got some kind of bio fuel. I'll put the name of it on the screen. Um, so I'm gonna try that in a minute. I'm really hungry. I've got home cooked chicken curry, like a red Thai curry to cook. So yeah, we'll do that. Cool, this will be really stealth as well because it doesn't make any noise, so brilliant, can't wait. Okay, let's get some food going. Got one of these little trays and that'll sort of, like if it gets knocked over, it'll stop it spinning everywhere. I'm gonna use a ferro rod to try and put a spark into it to set it alight. Woo! Wow, look at that. Bugs are out in force tonight, so I'm going to put on some insect repellent stuff. It's natural stuff that won't work, but it's worth a try, huh? Worth a shot. Don't like all that chemical 
Shiz. Let's get this hammock up. I've also got the under blanket. I borrowed this from a friend because I haven't got one yet. It's really warm today. It's really hot, but I am a cold sleeper, so. Okay, I think I'm going to move it to that tree because I think these are too close together. I'm going to get a time lapse going in a minute. It's 11 o'clock, still really warm. I've put my trousers on just to protect my legs from the bugs now. So it's four years this week since my first ever wild camp. So it's nice to do something different in a hammock. I really like it. It's really comfy. I think it's hung better now. I've been shifting it about all evening, but hopefully it's all right now. Lots to learn with hammocks now. I wanted to thank you guys for 20K subs. Honestly, cannot believe that. <laughs> it's crazy. I remember back in October I think it was when I uploaded my first like camping video for Wild Bear, the Camping in Storm Alex video and I uploaded it at sort of one in the morning because I thought oh well hopefully no one will watch it if I put it up at one in the morning because I was so sort of just shy about having a video of myself on YouTube. <laughs> oh, I'm just so grateful that you guys like to watch my little ramblings. I love doing these little trips and it's such a nice outlet for me as like a creative, high energy person to do the trips and make the videos. I love it and I'm just really grateful that you like to watch them. So thank you so much. I'm gonna get this time lapse started. Hi guys, I am in the hammock. It's so comfy. I absolutely love it. I have got my rab in here with me. I'm not using it, I've just sort of got it in laying on it at the moment. And I've got my Trichology Aloft pillow. I love. It's just so relaxing. It's so much comfier than laying in a tent on the floor. I really like it. So the time lapse is uh, set up and is going. And I'm going to try and sleep for an hour or so.
about five. I had to get up a couple of times in the night to sort out the time lapse, which I only saw a glimpse of because the battery died when I was having a look, but um looks like I might have got some of the Milky Way in it, which is amazing. I can't wait to have a look at that later when I get home. Yeah, it's so gorgeous. I was so lovely and warm last night. I had my wrap just open like a quilt. And that worked really well rather than being inside it because it's too hot to be inside it. But yeah, it's lovely. So comfy. I love being in this hammock. It's so gorgeous to just see all the sky and I could see all the stars between the trees. I just love it. The sun's coming up. Look. How gorgeous is that? I don't want to put this hammock away. It's so lovely. Love that trangia as well. It's like cooking on a teeny weeny fire. Great. Love everything. That was an amazing and beautiful camp. I had such a lovely time and the morning was absolutely stunning. The night was also stunning with the stars and we had to see if the time lapse had come out properly. But yeah, I loved everything that I used today. Really nice using the new stove. Try not the hammock, I would definitely be doing that again. It's so much more comfy than the tent. So yeah, amazing. Thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you again soon. Bye.